BibleGateway.com is one of my favorite tools to use for Bible study. I'm going to show you in this quick demo how I use it and how you can combine Bible Gateway with Google Chrome to make it even more powerful. So here I am on the BibleGateway.com homepage and there's two main things that I do with this website. It's far more powerful than what I uh, personally use it for so you can explore and find uh, other uses, other resources here than, than what I'm going to show you. But the two things that I really like about Bible Gateway is I click on study and I go to passage lookup and then I use keyword search. Uh, so what I do is, is basically three things. I use Bible Gateway to look up a, in one translation, whichever translation I'm reading from at the time. Uh, then the second thing is I search across multiple translations of a particular text to be able to compare and see what does one version say versus another. And then thirdly, uh, to do keyword searches uh, for particular words or phrases most of the time when it's like I, I know that this is in the scripture and often I even know what book or, or general area that it's found but I don't remember the exact passage and so I'll look that up so let me show you how to do that very quickly if you just click on a study and passage lookup it will take you to this passage page now I personally for a regular reading uh, prefer the New International Version but you can select your translation from this drop down and they have a lot of translations including uh, non-English language translations as well if you uh, need one of those and you just basically click on the text box here and I'm going to search 1st John uh, 1 through 2 and so you just put in your text like that and um, I particularly like to hide the footnotes as well as cross references um, it, this can be very helpful when you are copying and pasting scripture so if you click look up passage then you can see that it has loaded that uh, passage for me on the screen and I can from in here uh, just highlight certain uh, passages and then you know right click and say uh, you know copy uh, whenever I highlight them uh, you can use uh, in whole chapters you can search for specific verses so if I just say I want to look at first John 1 uh, 8 through 10 which is the text I had just highlighted a second ago uh, then you press enter and you can see that it uh, highlights just that text and then you can come up here and click uh, the um, actually it's this option the view full chapter uh, expander and that will take me now to 1 John chapter 1. Now if I want to I can change the version uh, to another translation if I want to or I can come over and change uh, page options or click add parallel and be able to look up multiple text. Uh, I will show you let me click the back option here to go back to the search page so if I want to search across multiple passages I can do that here or if I want to choose multiple versions for comparing versions which is what I do I personally don't use this multiple passages option I just look up multiple versions so I would click this option and then from here I could scroll down and choose you know whatever translation I wanted uh, and and be able to do that uh, but if I click the option again then it takes those away uh, the next thing is the keyword search and so I will come in here and let's suppose that I wanted to search for kingdom uh, and I can by default search the entire Bible I can select the translation that I want you can tell it to match whole words if you want or sometimes I'll come in here and say like I know this phrase is in the scripture in a particular place I can't remember where just take me there and I'll change this to match exact phrase but I'm just gonna search for the word kingdom here and you can also choose to limit if you want to search just one book you come in here and say well where you know what does it say about kingdoms uh, kingdom in Ezra and I can search there and limit uh, my options to or my results to uh, just the book of Ezra you can see that it came back with a couple of uh, verses that it found if I click the back button uh, then I can go back and say I want to search across all the prophets 
uh, the major prophets so that I get Isaiah and Ezekiel and those guys. Um, and, and then I can click keyword or phrase. Now, one thing that's really cool is even though I limited my search, you can see on the right hand side that it's giving me the option to select. I can click the all option and it will show me the entire Bible, Old Testament, New Testament. And if I want to change books, I can say, oh, yeah, Second Chronicles. Let's look in there and see the references to the word uh, kingdom and I can scroll down and, and find them uh, from here I should show you this you can also click just in context if you want to see just like show me those surrounding verses uh, and that will give you some idea is this the place I'm looking for but if you click the back option here and find the text again and just click full chapter uh, then of course it brings you to the entire chapter that has that uh, reference that you're looking for so uh, I believe that is pretty intuitive. If I come back up here and go back to keyword search, and it will kind of remember the settings that you, that you chose as long as you're open for that session. But where this really becomes powerful, at least for me, uh, is because, you know, hey, it's a little time consuming to come in here and change all these settings every time. So I've written this article on Chasing a Lion. I will link this in the notes for the video and uh, I have described how you can actually integrate Bible Gateway search with Google Chrome browser which is what I'm using what a lot of people use and this combines two very powerful tools so let me show you how this works and you can go set this up on your own so in my browser I've configured it to just be BGT if I type BGT that stands for Bible Gateway text in my mind press tab and you'll notice that it's now searching Bible Gateway text I can go back to that same passage this time let's put in first John chapter 4 and I press enter and you notice that it goes straight to the page and it, it brings me exactly to the text that I want now let's suppose that we want to limit to just a few verses so I'll go BGT tab and then say uh, I'll go for John 15 15 we'll take a different uh, book entirely and you can see how this works and it pulls back just that one verse super powerful and very helpful of course I've configured this to work with the NIV translation because that's what I prefer but you can do this with any translation it doesn't matter which one that you use uh, and then what about and when I want to actually compare multiple versions of the scripture. So I've configured my browser again to allow the uh, letters BGMT, Bible Gateway Multiple Texts or Multi-Text, and then I can do the same thing, John 15, and it remembers it because I typed it in just a minute ago, and press enter, and I've configured five versions of the scriptures to compare. These are the five versions that I read from most often for the New Testament at least. Uh, the NIV, New King James, New American Standard, Amplified Translation, and Young's Literal Translation, which is a very uh, accurate version. And so it reads a little old Englishy, like the King James, but it allows for more precise definitions of, and uses of words. And that's why I like to, to use that for study. And so I can compare across these different versions right here. And this is super fast. So let me just do another one for you. BGMT. And let's go for Matthew, let's go for the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5 through 7. Boom. And I, you know, pressed enter and it immediately brings that back. Now I can even have Bible Gateway read it to me if I want. But this is very helpful for scrolling down saying, okay, I want to, you know, highlight, copy different verses. And I can do the same thing for a keyword search. So let's go back and do that exact same search that uh, I did for Kingdom. And by default, the way I've configured the search parameters, I am searching the entire Bible. Of course, I showed you that it's super easy to then turn around and filter your results or look at specific books using that right-hand menu. So I just use B, G, K. And these, key, these letters combinations, by the way, in Chrome, this is completely customizable. You can do this whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. And press tab, but it's telling Chrome uh, when I put in this this uh, combination of letters I want you to search this particular source and then pass it these values 
So now I will go back and uh, I will do kingdom and press enter. And you'll see that it searched the entire Bible and it brought back the exact same results as my previous search. So this is super helpful for when I'm just thinking of something, I'm studying the scriptures, and I just bring up Chrome with a new tab, click in the address bar, BGT, BGMT, or BGK, hit tab, and, and off to the races I go, and I can immediately get back the results that I want. So check this article out, how to add BibleGateway.com search to Google Chrome. It will walk you through the steps of how to configure it, and hopefully this is helpful for you as you use these powerful tools.